Hello, my name is David Rocker. And for the next several minutes, I'm going to walk you through the timeline of what we as believers know as Holy Week or Passion Week. The reason why it's called Passion Week, because in the Christian realm, the word passion means to suffer or endure. That's where the title of the famous movie made by Mel Gibson, The Passion of the Christ, comes from. It simply talks about or depicts the suffering that Jesus would endure during his last week physically here on earth. It starts out with what we know today as Palm Sunday. This would be the day that Jesus would make his triumphant entry into the city of Jerusalem. He would ride in on the back of a donkey and a colt. A lot of people would wonder, well, why would Jesus being such a king and Lord ride in on a donkey? Well, the reason he did this was to fulfill the prophecy that was spoken by Zechariah 500 years before that said the king would come riding in lowly on the back of a donkey. Secondly, it was also to send a message to the government of Rome that yes, he was coming in on the donkey, letting them know that he was a king. Let me explain it a little bit more. See, when, when, when the Roman kings would go off to war, they would ride off on their nice, beautiful stallion. But after they would achieve victory, they would ride back into the city on the back of a donkey. Jesus was sending them a message, letting them know that, yes, he was a king, but not just a mere man king, but he was the king of kings and the Lord of lords. People were so excited that Jesus was making this triumphant entry into the city because finally they said the Messiah is making his move. He's about to come and take over Rome. The people were excited because they were saying, listen, Jesus is going to set us free as a nation and also politically. Little did they know, Jesus, as he approached the city of Jerusalem, would weep. As the people were crying out, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest Jesus was focused on a higher mission, on saying, listen, I'm not coming to set you free just as a nation or set you free politically, but I'm here to die for you and set you free spiritually. The people would take off their clothes and their clothing and lay them in his path, celebrating their king coming in. As I mentioned earlier, they would cry out, Hosanna, taking off palm branches off of trees and laying them in his path. This was simply a, a sign of adoration because they were so excited that the king was coming. Jesus, as I said, wept and cried because he knew that that would be his last week on earth. Jesus would ride out of the city, returning to Bethany, knowing that the following Sunday was coming.